guys, I hope you're enjoying this week. Some of you may already be aware of the subject matter, but the purpose of this selected audio for you is to point out the similarity between expressions of appreciation and prayer. But I believe it's better if you take the time to really listen and get a sense of what it's all about. If you don't know what they're talking about, then it can be a difficult pill to swallow. I advise you to listen to this in a quiet environment a couple of times. Using headphones or earphones will maximize your pleasure. Thank you. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. So now what? Having had all this conversation, where are you now? Is the answer to just like you say, chill, relax, continue to pray and meditate and follow your heart's desire? So let's talk about pray. Yeah. What? Excuse me, more meditate than prayer. It's all right. Yeah. Prayer is good too. But yeah. when you pray, what is the content of your prayer? All my thoughts are prayers. Positive, loving, good. In situations that I judge harshly, to remind myself to see what God's not seeing. We're right on something really important. Yeah. So a prayer that comes from an awareness of need. Is counter to your value a prayer of open outward even vocal appreciation is a prayer that aligns you with all that you desire and when you say I'm in a constant state of prayer it means you're in a constant state of asking but ooh, this is such an important thing that we're just standing here on the brink of because in your awareness that you are asking to move from where you are to a different place there is a blockage that's why we're asking all of you to be less aware of where you are in relationship to anything can you feel what we're talking about a prayer of appreciation what would a prayer of appreciation sound like it's beautiful sun shining the sun feels good it feels great to sit on the deck and watch the wind in my face and see the harbor and the homes and just the flow and the energy of it all right that's really good now it sounds a little conditional because you were looking yeah. at beautiful things when you did it ah. you're looking at beautiful conditions so under those conditions it's easy to offer that prayer yeah. but it might make you become a little conditional in nature so can you offer a less conditional prayer appreciating wherever you're at in terms of I started this conversation with the blessings of seeing the negative still Are, conditional still conditional it's not quite what we're reaching for okay. can you feel an unconditional prayer of appreciation so if it's conditional it's the harbor it's the beauty it's the ship it's the water and all of that's good for you don't yeah. misunderstand but it's still conditional which means if you're in pain or if someone was rude to you or whatever then if you're trained to the condition and you're having an emotional response to the condition then you're sort of like most people you're just responding to what you're seeing and often you're in contradiction of your own desire so an uncondition let's just call it for a moment an emotion so an unconditional prayer or an unconditional offering an unconditional moment in time would sound a little bit like this I love the feeling of clarity I love the feeling of recognizing how source feels about me I like this feeling of well-being I like this sense of security that I have I like understanding that I'm an extension of source energy I like the idea of source energy I like the feeling of source energy I like the concept of source energy I like the concept of my inner being I like my awareness of my inner being I like the feeling of awareness I enjoy the feeling of clarity I love the subject of momentum I like the idea of law of attraction I like the bigness of this universe I like the flowing of thoughts within it I like knowing that I have access to infinite intelligence I like the feeling of the flow of thought 
I like being an extension of source energy. I like being here in this leading edge time space reality. I like the beauty of this time space reality. I like the variety of this time space reality. I like knowing that this time space reality is giving birth to ideas within me. I like the power of those ideas that flow. I like knowing that when an idea hatches within me, that I'm not the only one who has that idea. I like knowing that source within me is in on that idea with me. I like the extension of that idea. I like the occurrence of that idea to me. I like the desire that is born within me. I like an understanding of the value of my beingness. You see how unconditional this conversation was. You see what we're getting at? Not very meaty for you in many cases, but it was an unconditional. In other words, if you follow this and if you flowed with this just a little bit, you were in a state of unconditioned there. You were floating freely with the source within you. So as you do more of that, what begins to happen is that all of the blockage stops when you meditate and you quiet your mind. That's what happens when you quiet your mind, you stop thought and therefore you stop resistance. And so there's no contradiction within you, but by having this conscious conversation about these unconditional things, what happens is you begin to steady yourself. You begin to accomplish a vibrational set point that establishes a different category within you. It's a category of knowledge. It's a category of knowing it's a category of love. It's a category of clarity. It's a category of well-being. It's a category of love. It's a category of appreciation. And do you know what a consistent aligning with that category then brings you in terms of law of attraction. It brings you fun people to play with. It brings you more ideas. It brings you rendezvousing with beautiful things. It puts you on your deck at the moment that the whale jumps out of the water. That category then yields to you conditions. So can you feel what we were just accomplishing here? We were approaching it unconditionally, which wasn't easy and didn't feel natural to any of you. But as you stay there long enough and you accomplish that, then what happens? Your set point moves, your point of attraction moves. And now you finally got your own tiger by the tail. You now are in control of what comes to you. And most are not in control. Most of you are observing what's going on. It's sort of reacting to life. So as you're reacting to life, you're having emotions that you don't feel any control over because you really don't have control over them because you had a category going on within you that you didn't know you had going on within you. And so things are coming to you that match that. And then you're trying to sort it out the long, hard way. So what this conversation was about was about proactively in advance, prepaving your vibration in order to accomplish your point of attraction before it comes. What do you think about that? When you wake up in the morning, that's your best opportunity to do just that. Because while you slept, the momentum of any set point or any vibrational category that you had going on before any emotional vibrational category that you had going on before is now subsided almost completely. And so as you sit offering your prayer of unconditional appreciation, can you hear what we're guiding you to? Because if it's a conditional appreciation, there's a trap in it because every subject is two subjects. And so you think you're appreciating your children, but you might be more worried about them than you are appreciating. You might think that you're appreciating abundance, but you might be more worried about not enough abundance than you are about abundance. So by approaching this unconditionally, you have a much better opportunity to establish your vibrational set point and then your day will revolve around this vibration, which is your point of attraction that you then can observe. And then after a while, your observation fuels what you do want. And that's really what you intended when you came into this physical time space reality, you knew that there was enough that would inspire you to desire, but you didn't plan on getting so stuck in step one. We're happy to have had this conversation. We're happy that as many of you as did enjoyed it. We're not worried about those of you who said, when is this going to be over? <laughs> because it's never going to be over until 
this clicks in and registers with you until we are able to convince you that you have the ability to tune your tuner to well-being and if you will do it before you have anything else to think about then the things that will show themselves to you today will be things of well-being that really is what this conversation was about and we liked it a lot yeah. Yeah.